Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to view your social media analytics inside of Google Analytics. So when you log in, you want to navigate to all website data. And then we're going to go down to acquisition. And I like to look at a few different places. So I want to look at all traffic here and I'm going to look at each channel. So this will kind of give you a breakdown in a different sort of way. And you'll understand once this page loads, what that looks like. So um, we've got other traffic, which could be anything. We've got organic search here, direct, and then social. That's the one we're looking for. So in, I'm looking at the date range of September 18th through the 24th. You can change the date range up here to be different dates if you want. You can do a whole month. You can do custom um, just for one day, last 30 days, last seven days, that sort of thing. So from the 18th to the 24th, I had 49 people come in from social media. Now I wanna break that, da that down even more. I wanna see which specific platforms they came in. So I'm gonna go over to source and medium. That will let you know who came in from where. So oh, that's that other traffic I have. Uh, my husband's old website is redirecting to one of my pages. One of his blogs is now on my website. So that's where that's coming from. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and show results for more than 10 years. I'm going to do 50 and see. So it'll break it down a few different ways. We've got some Pinterest traffic here. We've got some Twitter traffic here. Pinterest, we've got Facebook. Um, different kinds of Pinterest traffic, depending on the, that sort of link. So referral traffic usually is um, uh, something like social warfare, they add their own tagging system on there. Pinterest social, straight up Pinterest. Pinterest has different um, platforms as well. So if someone came in from Pinterest.ca, you can see that down here. Uh, we also have different breakdowns. So Facebook, Instagram, etc. So this first column here shows you the users. So how many people visited? So Twitter, for instance, nine people. And it'll tell you if it's a new user or if they've been there before. Now this next column is sessions. So how many pages did they visit? So 12 sessions total. The bounce rate. So really how long on average should people stay on the page? Uh, bounce rate. If you have a high bounce rate, so like most people are leaving before the page even finishes loading, maybe you have a loading page issue or maybe they're just not interested, they weren't interested in the first place. We've got pages per session. So on average, if someone's coming from my Twitter, they're looking at 1.5 pages per session and for about a minute and 12 seconds each. OK, so that gives you a lot of data there on um, how many people are visiting from social media.